Hello and welcome to this Excel Decision Tree tutorial. Imagine you are the director of the local museum. There is one room in the museum that houses different pieces of jewelry, which are worth 15 grand altogether. As you would expect, this room is secured with a high-tech alarm system. Unfortunately, the alarm system broke down recently. Now you have to decide what to do. The company that provides the alarm system gave you two options. They can repair the system, which will cost you 5 grand. The second option is to replace the system by the newest model. This is a more advanced alarm system that improves the protection significantly. This option costs 20 grand. The security firm estimates the probability of theft to be 5% for the old alarm system and only 1% for the new system. The manager of the museum sees a third option in which the old alarm system is kept as it is. He argues that the presence of the alarm system puts off potential thieves whether it is working or not. For this option, you estimate the probability of theft to be 40%. Now that we have outlined the situation, we are ready to construct the decision tree. First of all, we show how you can download and import the Excel add-in. We go to Google and type ybn slash treeplan and click on the GitHub link. We click on the arrow next to code and select download zip. We have already saved a file on our desktop and unzipped it there by right-clicking on the zip file and selecting Extract here. Next, we return to Excel, click on File, Options, Add-ins, and click on Go, next to Manage Excel Add-ins. Select Browse and go to the tree plan file. We go to Desktop, click on the file, and double-click on Buy Tree Plan. Buy Tree Plan is now part of the menu. We make sure the box is ticked and select OK. Tree plan is now part of the ribbon, select it. When the tree plan menu is opened in the ribbon, we select a random cell in the sheet where we would like the tree to appear. We click on new and we can choose the number of branches we need. For our example, we need three branches since we have three options. Select three branches and you see a decision tree with three branches appear on the screen. We can add all the necessary information to each branch. We start with the name to make it a bit clearer, so we replace decision by option. To do this, you double click on decision 1, select decision and type option. The next element we will add is the payoff or cost for this branch. This should be inserted below the name, so we select the cell containing 0 and type 5000. We do the same for the other branches. Before we can go on, we first have to tell Excel that we are working with costs. To do so, you navigate to Options in the main section. When you click on it, a menu opens where you have to set Decision Node Choices to Minimize. The aim of the tree is to choose the best option in function of the probability of theft, so that's what we will add as a second level of the tree. To add a new branch, we select a cell at the end of a branch. Next, we click on Change to Event and select two branches since there are two possibilities, theft or no theft. For this branch, we start by adding the names, which we do in the same way as before. We click on Event 1, select it and type Theft. Event 2 is replaced by No Theft. We have to alter the probabilities as they are automatically set to 0.5 for both branches. The probability of theft for option 1 is 0.05. So this is the figure we type in the probability cell of branch 1. The other branch has probability 0.95. Again, we need to add a payoff or cost to each branch. In case of theft, we lose the entire jewelry's value of 15,000, so we type this figure instead of 0 for the first branch. For the second branch, we keep 0 as we don't lose anything if there is no theft. For the other options, we need exactly the same subtree as for option 1, because also in this case there will occur a theft or not. We will not recreate the subtrees from scratch, we can just copy-paste the first subtree down, to do that, you select the cell that contains the first node of the subtree. If you click on the node, the node itself is selected instead of the cell. So we select the cell below the node and navigate one cell up with the arrow key on your keyboard. Next, under tree plan in the ribbon, you click on copy subtree. Then you select a cell at the end of the option 2 branch and you select paste subtree. The subtree appears and we do the same for option 3 as well. The only elements we have to change in the subtree are the probabilities. For option 2 we have 1%, and for option 3 we have 40%. Based on this decision tree, we can conclude that option 1, repairing the alarm system, is statistically the most profitable option to choose. 
This can be observed in the first node of the tree, which shows an average cost of 5750. This corresponds to the payoff of option 1 in contrast to the payoffs of option 2 and 3 that have costs of 20,150 and 6,000. Let's alter our story a bit to show some more features of the tree plan add-in. Imagine we replace our third option by selling the jewels. In that case we don't need any alarm system and receive 15 grand instead. To change this in the tree, we select the subtree of option 3 and change this to a terminal in the ribbon. We turn this into a terminal node as there is no possibility for theft anymore. We add the 15 grand to the branch and the tree is adjusted to the new scenario. As expected, this is statistically the best option now. Recall that we are entering the costs in the tree. In this case, the 15 grand is a gain, so we type minus 15,000. The security firm comes back to you with a new option. When you have chosen to install a new alarm system, you can choose to solely take the system or you can add the service of a security guard. If you opt to include the service of the guard, it will cost you 30 grand in total. To add this to the tree, you select the cell containing the starting node of option 2 subtree. Next, you click on Insert Decision. We take Decision instead of Event, because Event is used for the situations where you want to link probabilities to each option. Here you just want to show different potential decisions. We have only one branch, but we need two since we have two options to choose from. To add a second branch, you make sure the cell of the start node is selected, and you click on Add Branch. Now you can add the names of the branches and corresponding payoffs in the same way as before. We type no security guards, security guards, and 30,000. With this we have shown most of the tree plan options. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Excel or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.